All right, guys, thanks for watching. Today's video is on infinitives. Today, our objective is to identify infinitives and infinitive phrases. This is probably one of the easiest phrases to identify. An infinitive is a type of verbal. And a verbal occurs when you take a verb, you change it somehow, and then you use it as either an adjective, a noun, or an adverb. An infinitive is the easiest one to find, but sometimes it's hard to classify as one of these parts of speech because uh, an infinitive is a verb form that can be used as a noun, an adjective, or an adverb. So it can be used um, as uh, all of these functions. However, what makes infinitives easy to find is that most infinitives begin with the word to. For the most part, to verb is an infinitive. Here are some examples. Often, the best strategy is to forgive. Here we have to verb. That's an infinitive. Is is a linking verb, and we know that because we can replace it with an equal sign. So often the best strategy equals to forgive. In this case, to forgive is used as what's called a predicate nominative, which is a noun after a linking verb. And it identifies, it gives a name to this strategy. The name for this strategy equals to forgive. Here's another one. This is the chapter to study. Here we have to verb. To verb means it's an infinitive. In this case, to study is an adjective that describes which chapter, what kind of chapter. My sister is willing to help. Here we have to followed by the verb help. So that's an infinitive. And in this case, we have an adverb. We have an adverb describing um, how my sister is willing. Adverbs tell us um, how is one of the things that adverbs can do. Just like how to study here tells us is an adjective because it tells us uh, which chapter. Um, this is an adverb because it tells us how willing. So an infinitive phrase is anything that has an infinitive, which is really easy to find because you're looking for to verb. And not only is it the infinitive, it's any modifiers or complements the infinitive has. The entire phrase is used as one part of speech, and that is noun, adjective, or adverb. So here's some examples. Adam A needs to leave. And then we have a word that modifies to leave. It's the adverb now. It tells us when she has to leave. That's one of the functions of, uh, of an adverb. It tells us when something should be done. So here we have the infinitive phrase. The adverb modifies that infinitive. And this, uh, the whole thing, is used as a noun. It's the thing that Adam A needs. The night light is there to calm uh, the children. Here, uh, to calm the children is an adverb uh, telling us uh, why uh, the night light is there. So it is an adverb because it modifies the adverb there, which tells us where the nightlight is. And we're going to include uh, the children because this is the direct object of the verb calm. And to calm the children together operates as one infinitive. Let's try to find the infinitives and the infinitive phrases in these sentences. So what we're looking for, again, is to verb. This is the infinitive. For some, the attempt to understand his writing is a challenge. So here is our infinitive, to understand. But to get the whole phrase, we have to get any objects, uh, complements that this may have, or modifiers. So here we have his writings. To understand his writing. The writing is the direct object of understand. It's the thing that is understood. So it's included in this phrase. Number two. They find it hard to understand the 16th century expressions. 
So here we have to understand which is our infinitive, but the infinitive phrase goes on a little bit longer. We also include the 16th century expressions because, just like before, these are the things that are understood. Number three. However, most people like to see is our infinitive, and the thing that we see are the plays performed. So to see the plays performed is one infinitive. And by the way, this is the direct object. This is the thing that most people like. All right. So our objectives today were to, or our objective was to identify infinitives and infinitive phrases. And the trick here is just remember to verb and you should be good to go.